Hey yo, Nathan Tora here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Moonlit Medicine from the Ninja Tool Shop and now to the board to Shinobi Striker. Let's go ahead and get into this. On the track, boy. So the Moonlit Medicine is an SS rank item used for ranged and healed types. You get this from appraising scrolls, either Valuable, Esoteric, or Moonlight. Um, it's pretty simple to get, just try Valuable and Esoterics, and if you don't get it, just use Moonlight, because you'll get a much better chance. I'll show you some gameplay now. Now let's talk about what the Moonlit Medicine does. It recovers your health, reduces your chakra jump charge time, and lets you stay invisible for a set amount of time. However, while you are invisible, you are still vulnerable to attacks, but unlike Chikashudo, whenever you are attacked, you will not be knocked out of invisibility. Now let's talk about the ninjas that we're going to pay with this. For this build, Nagato's DLC is going to be a lifesaver because of that ghetto statue and the Shirado attack. For our secret technique, we are going to be using Ghetto Statue, and the medicine is going to help us a lot, so make sure it's charged up when you use this technique, because after you use it, you will be set to one health. The medicine will heal you a bit, preventing you from being one shot by just a simple kunai, which will help a lot. It will also render you invisible so that you can hide. For our regular ninjutsu, we are going to be using Shirado, because as soon as you activate this, you're going to take the medicine and you will be invisible while you are still in Shirado's form, meaning that you can fire missiles while staying invisible, meaning that you can't be tracked. The second jutsu is completely up to you, it's your choice. I prefer to use Haku's Icicle Swallow because it will freeze and I have a chance for a good combo. 
Another good jutsu for this build is the Shikigami Dance Shield. Because if you use the medicine and sneak up to people, you can trap them in the paper and start a good combo as well. For the substitution, if you do own the Kawaki DLC, we're going to be using Emergency Exit. Because paired with our medicine, we're going to have insane healing. Another uh, substitution that I recommend is high speed movement because we can use that rapidly and over and over again. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment what your favorite part of this video is. Also, comment what I should do a video on next and if you have any adjustments to this build. I hope to see you guys soon.